Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on what is bijoint sets and what is equal sets. So these are the most important concepts in set theory in discrete mathematics. First, what is bijoint sets? Suppose we can take two sets capital A and capital B. These two sets are said to be disjoint sets if A intersection B is equal to pi. That is, these two sets have no common element. If the two sets have no common element, then these two sets are said to be disjoint sets. Okay. Now, this is the definition. Let A and B are two sets. These two sets are said to be disjoint sets if and only if A intersection B is equal to pi. Here, pi is nothing but empty set or a null set. Okay. That is, two sets A and B have no common element. Okay. For example, let A is equal to set of 1, 2, 3. B is equal to set of 4, 5, 6. Check whether these two sets are disjoint sets or not. So, first we have to perform the intersection operation between these two sets. Okay, after performing the intersection operation, if these two sets have no common element, then we can say that these two sets are said to be disjoint sets. So, A is equal to set of 1, 2, 3, B is equal to set of 4, 5, 6, A intersection B is equal to set of 1, 2, 3 intersection set of 4, 5, 6. By observing these two sets, there are no common element between them. So, therefore, A intersection B is equal to pi. Hence, we can say that set A and set B are disjoint sets because if they have no common element between them, that is A intersection B is equal to pi. Next, second definition, equal sets. Let capital A and capital B are two sets. These two sets are said to be equal sets if and only if A subset equal to B, B subset equal to A, then A equal to B. So, this condition we have to follow. We have to follow whether two sets are equal or not. Okay. Now consider the definition. Let A and B are two sets. These two sets are said to be equal sets if and only if A subset equal to B. Here, B sub if A subset equal to B, comma, B subset equal to A, then a equal to B. So, if these conditions are, two conditions are satisfied, then we can say that A is equal to B. So, it should be satisfies these two conditions compulsory. A subset equal to B and B subset equal to A. Then, we can say that A is equal to B. So, example, let A is equal to set of 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is equal to set of X such that X is a positive integer with X square less than 20. Check whether these two sets are equal or not. So, solution A is equal to set of 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. B is equal to set of x such that x is a positive integer with the x square less than 20. So, here substitute x is equal to 1. Okay. So, x square that is 1 square 
less than 20. So 1 square is nothing but 1. 1 less than 20. So that is 2. Next, x is equal to 2. So 2 square. 2 square less than 20. So 2 square is nothing but 4. 4 less than or 4 less than 20. Condition true. Next, x is equal to 3. 3 square less than 20. 3 square is nothing but 9. 9 less than 20. Condition true. Next, x is equal to 4. 4 square less than 20. So 4 square is 16. 16 less than 20. That is true. Next, x is equal to 5. 5 square less than 20. 5 square less than 20. That is 25. 25 less than 20. That is false. Okay. So here x is equal to 1. The condition is true. x is equal to 2. That is condition is true. x is equal to 3. Condition is true. x is equal to 4. Condition is true. x is equal to 5. Condition is false. Okay. So x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Condition is true. So therefore we can write it as B is equal to set of 1, 2, 3. 1 square that is 1. 1 less than 20. Condition true. So 1 is the element of set B. 2 square that is 4. 4 less than 20. Condition true. So 2 is the element of set B. 3 square that is 9. 9 less than 20. Condition is true. So 3 is the element of set B. X is equal to 4. 4 square. 16. 16 less than 20. Condition true. 4 is the element of set B. X is equal to 5. 5 square. 25. 25 less than 20. That is false. So B is equal to set of 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. X is equal to 1. Condition is true. X is equal to 2. Condition is true. X is equal to 3. Condition is true. X is equal to 4, condition is true. But X is equal to 5, condition false. So therefore, the elements of set B are 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now we have to check these two conditions. A subset equal to B. What is the meaning of A subset equal to B? If every element of set A is also the element of set B. So in the set A, 1 is there. In the set B also 1 is there. In set A element 2 is there. In set B element 2 is also there. In set A element 3 is there. In set B element 3 is also there. In set A element 4 is there. In set B element 4 is also there. So every element of set A is also the element of set B. Now we can say that a subset equal to A subset equal to B condition is satisfied. A subset equal to B condition is satisfied. Now we have to check B subset equal to A condition. So in the set B, there is one element. Element 1 is there. In set A also, element 1 is there. In set B, element 2 is there. In set A, element 2 is there. In set B, element 3 is there. In set A, element 3 also there. In set B, element 4 is there. In set A, element 4 is there. If every element of set B is also the element of set A. Now, we satisfy the condition B subset equal to A. Okay. If A subset equal to B and B subset equal to A, so if a subset equal to B, B subset equal to A, then we can write it as A is equal to B. A is equal to B. Okay. So we observe that A subset equal to B and B subset equal to A. Hence we conclude that A is equal to B. So we can say that let A and B are said to be equal sets. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and 
ಬಿಲ್ಬೆಲ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸರಾವ್ ಸೊ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಶೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಾ